former USL Championship Referee of the Year. And there's the whistle, and we are underway tonight from Detroit. Now, both of these teams very used to the cold weather. Hart takes it back. He had the assist that set up Yaz Matthews in that second round match a couple of weeks ago. Ross floated in, headed straight in the air. It's Amaria who looks to clear it away, but Amu Mensa gets it right back. Amu Mensa still coming forward. Moves it off to the far side. The shot comes on, and it's in! What a start for Detroit City! Yes, Matthews once again! It is a dream start at Keyword Stadium! Needed a perfect start here. Here's a better look. Look how calm, the confidence is there tonight for Detroit. Not a lot of pressure from Minnesota, and the home side takes advantage. Detroit getting bodies around the ball very quickly, but still Minnesota will come forward. It's Dunbar, his cross! was met in the middle, and what a chance that was for Luisa Maria. Because as it stands right now, it's been 10 minutes, Josh, and we haven't seen a lot from Minnesota. Again, it's Dunbar getting the cross away, bouncing off to the far side. Fisher's able to deal with it. Now Detroit trying to play out of some trouble here. Here's Jope in the middle. We'll keep it moving, but it's turned over. They are starting to step it up. They're having more possession. They're pushing numbers forward. Now it's time to see how Detroit is going to adjust to that. Here's Fisher trying to make something happen. Detroit has to be fairly comfortable doing a lot of defending. They've... Steinwasher distributes long down the left. Morris keeps it alive. Said it was a lot in the middle third of the field, didn't really have much going forward. As Matthews looks for the early ball in, Morris was there. It stayed in play at the end of the day. Not a good angle, but still an opportunity. Ragapane again. Good service here, it's headed down, it's saved off the line. The shot is bounced wide in the end. But finding ways, well, set pieces, you know, similar plays. Back to back, corner kick, header from Arriaga, both of them blocked and then left. Bill Hart trying to win a throw and he does off of DJ Taylor. And that will be the last action of this first half. Well, you couldn't have drawn it up any better for Detroit City. A goal in the opening five minutes and they lead Minnesota United at halftime. Matthew Thompson just about ready to send us on our way. There's the whistle, 45 more minutes, maybe more. But Minnesota United has to score a goal. Fragapane. He'll move it out wide. Paddleford drives this across. It's still available in the middle. And on the volley, it's scooped up by Steinwasher. And this is taken away. It's Rosales. Early ball into the middle. It'll go all the way to the far side. First time effort is taken by Steinwasher. New goal as this is turned over. It's Fisher looking for that centering pass. Fisher still and forces a save out of Clint Irwin. Here comes the cross, flicked across. Steinwasher got to it. Steinwasher again. Scramble in front. And it's held on to by Nate Steinwasher. But for Steinwasher, just a, a continuation from what he does every week in USL Championship. It's not an easy shot to save at all. It's Arriaga, then another opportunity from paddleboard. Anyway, trying to cut this in, it was poked away. Rosales again, trying to put this into the middle. Opportunity to tie this one, and there it is! Franco Fragapani scores the equalizer for Minnesota United. They are back on level terms. Inside the box, as Iwa with the first opportunity, he gets the second ball, brings it in, 
But look at the way they are able to connect inside the box. That's a lot of quality that right there. That's what we expected from this team in terms of passing. They are effective inside the box this time, and that's enough for Fragapane to finish. Ryan able to head that away. He comes centrally again. Fragapane for Iwe. Iwe deflected in! Just like that, it's Minnesota United out in front. Two goals in about three minutes, and the Loons lead in Detroit. But it doesn't matter to him or to Minnesota United. They'll take it. They're on the lead again. And listen, it's about taking advantage of your opportunities once again. The ball bounces around inside the box. He takes on the challenge, surrounded by defenders from Detroit City. He trusts that he can score. He does have one goal, Iwe does in MLS Next Pro this year. He scored two goals last year as well. And now the subs, the reinforcements coming on. Sang Bin will take this. Sang Bin delivers. The heads go up. It's still loose. Deflecting it again. In five minutes' time, Minnesota United have stretched this lead out to three goals to one. This time, Luisa Maria. After a corner kick. Ball bounces Minnesota's way, and this time, there's no way Amaria will miss it again. Almost able to clear the ball away, just over the line, Detroit City. To the back of the net it goes. It's Maxi Rodriguez who's slow to get back to his feet here. There will be another yellow. It's taken away. It's Matthews. Skage Simonson will be coming onto the field. Replace tonight's goal scorer in Yaz Matthews. And Luis Amaria will also be coming off the field. So now the sub will be taken. Skage Simonson coming in for Yaz Matthews. It is Reese Williams, Tommy McCabe. There's one more in there as well. It's Richard Ballard. Richie Ballard is the third one. Ben Morris will be one of those players coming off. So pretty much a line change here for Detroit City as they try to chase this game. Adrian Billhart will also be coming off the field. Minnesota, it was a struggle. Honestly, the start of the second half was not very good for Minnesota. We did expect them to be more, a little bit more aggressive. Trying to catch the goalkeeper off his line, and he wasn't too far away. Ben Morris. Man, it's just, <laughs> you know, what was the goalkeeper doing in the middle when the first post was just wide open? Morris with the Great angle at time, takes the shot. What a missed opportunity for the home side. Just very unfortunate. As the corner comes in, Henner is down and saved by Irwin. And continues on. Ballard all the way into the corner. Able to get this into the box. What can he make of it? Ballard, it comes into the middle and it deflects wide. And they did it in a stretch of six minutes. So um, overall mission accomplished for, for Minnesota United and for Detroit City. Just another opportunity to continue to grow. They're saying Ben, he's pulled back. And a yellow card to Tommy McCabe. Service comes in, the header is wide. That is the second straight corner in which Detroit have nearly found a goal. It's a beautiful ball, and honestly, a huge miss. It's a 
So much in cup football, it's just about survive and advance. Simonson tries to play this through, it's broken up. This is played in behind, this should pretty much be the last of it. Steinwasher collects. And that's all. Minnesota United has conquered Keyworth Stadium.